Good afternoon and welcome to Tony Romaco Ministries and thank you for joining me today as we go on our next sermon. Christ can help when we are tempted. Life is a journey with many joys and sorrows. The choices are many and so are the temptations. Our world, although we would like it to be, is not black and white. There are a lot of gray. God's gift to us is free will. It's a beautiful yet dangerous gift. With all of today's technology, the choices are unlimited, as are the temptations to go off the narrow path. When we give in to temptation, we begin to weave that web. You know the old saying, oh the web we do weave. So now we can agree that we all have fallen to temptation at one time or another. With the variety of temptations comes the variedness of the consequences. Losing one soul could be at stake. Yahweh allows us to be tempted not only to test us, but of the gift he has given us. Through the testing, he builds our character to be more accepting to him. Our faith continues to build and become strong for every temptation we do refuse. As I spoke of earlier, the temptations can vary from having a snack we shouldn't be eating to cheating on our partner. Each carrying their determined degree of consequence. We're all guilty of failing and falling to one or more temptation throughout our lives. The point is, what kind of person will we become if we keep giving in to those temptations? We allow Lucifer to win each time we give in, doing exactly what he wants us to do, where he wants us to be, and without us even knowing. To get us to give in, Lucifer deceives and mixes lies and truth to confuse us and believe in him that what he shows is true. Again, he loves to play to get us to turn away from God. All hope is not lost, and faith is neither lost. There is a way, the only way. Jesus. Christ our Lord and Savior. As scripture states, we can do all things through him who strengthens us. And Jesus himself tells us, I am the way. We just need to call upon him, call his name, and he'll answer us. Now there are a couple other requirements that Jesus does require of us, and they are to believe in him, to have faith in him, and to trust in Him. Yahweh is also there for us. Always was and always will be. Jesus will and does intercede on our behalf to the Father. And our Father in Heaven promises that if we endure and stay strong, He Himself will also not let us down. Now remember what I just said because there are two key words here. Faith and believe. When we remain in faith we are steadfast. Staying this way helps us build our character into who God created us to be. Now let's look at a verse from the Bible with James because he talks about character in 1-3. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. We need to also remember, like the Father, the Son will never leave nor forsake us. And know that Jesus, too, was tempted. He knows exactly what we go through, what we know, and how we feel. He knows our struggles and our pain. Now, to reinforce this to you, so you know that he was too tempted, let's look at this, and I would like you to meditate on this verse. It comes from Hebrews 4.15 For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who in every respect 
has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. God never promised us an easy life. He did promise to send someone to overcome the world, and he has kept that promise. So yes, we too can overcome temptation because we have God and Jesus with us, in us, around us. We can go to them for strength, we go to them in prayer, we can go to them for guidance, and we always should because they know the best way. They are the way. As we come to a close today, I would like you to leave you with this thought. Pray constantly. Believe, have faith, and trust in Jesus. He is our Savior. And since He's our Savior, you can trust in Him. The more you seek Him, the easier it is you will be able to find Him. Build your relationship with Him. It's not only a blessed thing, but it's quite a rewarding one. Get to know Him. He will reveal to you the wisdom you seek, the guidance you seek, and he'll be with you every step on the way through the storms and through the beauty of life on your journey. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I'm Reverend Tony. Thank you for joining me today. And please, if this sermon helped you and you feel it will help someone else, please share it with others and click the subscribe button on our YouTube and be aware of the next time we upload another video. And please continue to walk in the presence of God. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for joining me today and have, please have a blessed day and a blessed rest of the week. Be safe. Spread the peace. Spread the love. Spread the gospel of Jesus. He loves you. And God loves you. We'll see you again next time.